Robofish! You've ruined everything! <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Lake Pay Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I was trying to get back to this pipe because I, I went and saved and you know, turned off the game or whatever because it's a different recording session. I'm ruining the magic. Go me. <laughs> it's chapters. It looked like a seven for a second, even though it's clearly a one. But apparently, I skipped to chapter seven. Castle and Dragon. It's a place we can go to, or rather, to name. Hey, look, there's the castle. Where's the dragon? <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, we made it to a place. Here we are, the Petal Meadows! Oh boy! The start of our adventure! Well, technically, those first four episodes were... Uh, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> anyway, right off the bat, there is a mushroom in this tree, and a star piece in this tree. In case you didn't know! Gosh! Hey, a thing. Ah! Noises from the place... Oh. Well, um... There's a jet plane flying overhead. Whoa! What was that? Oh, was a... Wow, Mario, look! What was it? It's a Charizard! I gotta catch it! I'm gonna go get my Master Ball. We're gonna catch it. It's gonna be great. Wow, that's incredible! I've never seen anything that humongous before. Given you're pretty small, I mean, I don't know. Be that hard. Uh, this place is peaceful. Uh, we just started, and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Oh, we gotta go places, all right. We gotta walk past this completely inconspicuous-looking location and just get this mushroom and leave. <laughs> why would we? Why would we do anything else? I mean, really, why would we do anything else? Uh, the goal of this game, in case you didn't know, is you gotta get badges and hit trees with a hammer and fight Goombas a lot. That's basically how this game plays out. Hey, look, our audience shrunk. Why? So anyway, battles will get, like, progressively larger. See, now there's, there's like, four dudes instead of, you know, I think the highest we've seen up to this point is three. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I know all of you will. Remember when I said I would never super guard? <laughs> I don't know what compelled me to even hit the B button there, but I did it anyway. It's a thing I can do. Um, so, you know, it is a thing to do. I'm not 100% familiar with Goombella's stylish commands. I think it's like when she's about to jump, you push A, and she does like a little backflip. I want to say there's a second part to it, but I can never remember what that is either. Like, I don't know. The timing for Goombella's is really weird. Like, with Mario's jump, it's like, oh man, you just you just press A at the peak of your jump. It's pretty great. What's down here? Uh, is it something? Something that I can get, but gravity... Oh. Gravity, you and me are gonna have to have a talk once this, uh, once this video's over, okay? Just so we're clear. CUTTING OUT THE BATTLE! So this is something I, I can do, I suppose. You also have an appeal command now. Uh, using that wastes your turn, but it causes the audience to give you a lot of stars. That can be useful if you need to fill your star meter and you have a turn to waste. Considering Goombella can do literally nothing in this fight, that's gonna it's gonna happen every turn. Even though I don't need special moves right I don't at all. Also, sometimes hitting things with the hammer will cause background elements to fall and do damage to unsuspecting people standing underneath. The stage is its own thing, you know? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things that can happen just with the stage alone, so you kind of need to pay attention, because anything can happen at any time, so, you know. Because sometimes the scenery can fall on you, and you can defend it with an action command, so do be careful. Remember when I said I was cutting this battle out? <laughs> Well, I mean, things happened, and... Uh, don't jump on the spike head Goombas, okay? This has been established. This is the most effective way to hit that block. I mean, I honestly can't think of a more effective way. Oh! One more thing! If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, you can just press X, and I'll, tss, I'll tell on the landscape. Hey there, landscape! I saw what you did last night. You also have infinite 
defense and HP because you can't kill the landscape. But it also has zero attack. So no worries. This guy's gonna get in the way, so I might as well just murder his face. And sometimes, if an item uh, is present in battle, you might get it at the end of the battle. It's pretty wonderful. This looks suspicious. I'm gonna go get it in this thing. Well, there's obviously a switch over to the right. Let's go left. <laughs> That's one of the interesting things about this uh, little mechanic here with the whole background and whatnot. You can usually go around. It's also faster to keep jumping. That's why I'm doing it. Oh, man! The world is literally a flipbook for me to enjoy. This is the flipbook known as the construction of a bridge. In case you were wondering, I wanted to go this way all along because there's a star piece over here, and it's very important that I collect all of the star pieces because otherwise, people will be all like, Game Guy, you missed a star piece in this location. How could you do such a thing? Granted, technically, I've already not really missed star pieces, but intentionally skipped because I'll get them later because it would be more convenient to do as such. Don't you blink at me. I saw that. Don't think I didn't. I said stop! I said stop, you stupid! Gosh. I hate it when the hills blink at me. <laughs> I hate it so much! Oh, hello. Uh, we made it to Petalburg! We are officially in Sino. Great. This joke has never been made before, I am sure. Hello. Welcome, travelers! You're a Koopa! Kill it! Hmm, where are you at? This is Petalburg. You can tell because it's got butterflies. No other reason. <laughs> kind of remote. Yepity. Once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism. <laughs> dragon <laughs> hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier. You mean the Charizard? Yeah, I know. I just wish I had my Pokedex. Anyway, green boots. Have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? We're on this quest to find them. It's very important. You may not have heard of it. Hmm, can't say I have. Mm, you might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Well, good reason, I guess. <laughs> I mean, what reason do I need to speak to anybody unless they're old? Obviously. <laughs> You know, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. Let's go check it out. <laughs> a pink house? <laughs> that sounds totally hideous. <laughs> mm, you would know, little Miss Snitch Lady. But anyway, this is Petalburg. You can go over here. There's this guy. I'm not going to talk to him, though, because I don't care. Hey, there, little kid. Hey, what's up? I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. Look, kid. Y you... Okay, you and your fourth wall breaking are, are cool and all. Fire Emblem is a game I've never really played. I mean, I'm not, like, the hugest fan of the whole, uh... What is that genre even called? Like, I've already forgotten. Real-time strategy? I'm not even sure. You're a bomb. Does it hurt when you blow up? Or is it just quick and painless? I guess we'll never know, because <laughs> when he blows up, he's dead. I talked to that guy. He looks really interesting. But I said looks wrong, so I guess I'm not... <laughs> Also, we passed the pink house. How silly of me. Hello, pink house. How are you, pink house? You're a pink house. Hello. You're old, and I wish to talk to you, because you are old. <laughs> ah. Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know you're thieves here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Dang it, Goombilla. He's on to us. Run! <laughs> Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Uh, well, you have a really nice couch, and a nice little bureau with some cool little pictures on it. That vase looks really nice. You have a nice little fireplace and a rug? You say there's nothing here, huh? <laughs> uh, antique shell. That might sell a lot on Mushroom Kingdom eBay. Hmm, just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those en en enemies. <laughs> Apparently. You know, old people and their sea creatures. <laughs> I know all about that. Hmm, you're looking for some crystal stars? Well, why don't you pipe up before you, idiot? Idiot isn't a word, just so, just so we're clear. You may be old, but you can't make up words. It doesn't work that way. Gosh. 
What did I hear about those dang things again? Oh, I got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. Mm, it's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know about Hooktail? Yeah, it's the Charizard. Why does everybody keep calling it Hooktail? Is that its nickname? I, well, I mean, I guess that's an okay nickname. It doesn't make any sense for a Charizard, but... Ah. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? Uh, sure, why not? I'm Mario. I can do whatever I want. Hmm, if you rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Rewards that you apparently don't have, as you said earlier. Gosh, this guy does not know what he's talking about, clearly. You'll accept no reward. I didn't say that. I want all the rewards in the world. Yes, I am very noble for wanting all the rewards. <laughs> mm. uh, good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Uh, my name's Mario. You've probably heard of me. Murphy? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> hmm. Yes. My name is Murphy. Okay. They are nice eyebrows. Yes, I agree. I, they're covering up your entire eyes. I'm not really sure how you can even see. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> This is becoming less interesting by the second. <laughs> There's a stone key. Great! Keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress. That's a name if I've ever heard one. Can't wait to go there and get schwonked! Hmm, I need to go and take care of the hooktail monster. Well, okay. Uh, there's that coop over there. She's probably not important, if I had to guess. Mario is a computer. <laughs> you got an email! Hooray! I'm not gonna read these most of the time, because I don't care. Hi! An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. Not stone creatures. It might live there. Oh, you gotta guard the gate. Oh, well, it's okay if I go through. I mean, I'm Mario. I can do whatever I want. If you didn't open the gate for me, I would have probably just pile-drived you into the floor, but... Oh, hello? Who's that? Oh, hello. You look, uh, completely unimportant in all regards. <laughs> Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Uh, uh, my name is, uh, Way... I, I mean, Coops. Um, I heard you traveling to Hooktail's castle, so, uh, I have a favor to ask. Okay, look, Mario doesn't speak in Morse code or ellipses, so you're, you're gonna have to translate for me here. Hey, Goombella, can you do that? Are you Google Translate? Uh, uh, forget it. Ne oh, ignore me. Yeah, already doing it. What were we just doing? <laughs> I have no idea what's even remotely happening. There's a star piece in this bush. <laughs> so, I don't know why I remember like just random star pieces throughout the world. It is a thing. Ow. I jumped, but I jumped too late. These are Koopas! They can do Koopa stuff to you. They have one defense, and if you jump on them, they fall over and lose their defense. It is pretty great. I think I have three HP. They might have two HP. I don't. I don't. Well, no, they're still alive. I think he has four HP. Never mind. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly, stylish for me to have. He is also dead. I mean, you know, usually I care a lot about killing my foes, which is why I worry about killing my foes on a regular basis. It's, it's very important to me. <laughs> very important indeed. Mm, yeah. Oh no, it's a Goomba! I'm gonna try to run away from the Goomba, because he's scary. I'm gonna get this, though. It's important to me. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Guess I gotta do something here. Hello! Are you going to be my friends? Well, of course you are. I mean, why wouldn't you be my friends? This is kind of like a mini-boss, except it's the rare occasion where you can actually initiate first strike. Except it won't do anything. These guys have, like, two defense or something, so you're not gonna be able to do anything to them. Which is half the reason why they gave you this here pow block. Pow blocks are very useful, because you can use them to flip over enemies and also do damage that pierces defense. It's pretty wonderful. Also, hey look, I have enough star points to level up. Let's just close the curtain and uh, take a bow. 
Because this stage play is over and I get to upgrade my stuff. <laughs> It's pretty great. So HP obvious, like a lot of these are pretty obvious. You just get more HP, FP, and BP. Uh, BP obviously meaning you can make more badge equips and whatnot. Honestly, like early game, I tend to go more for some HP early on. Like later on, you're more or less gonna want to go for more BP than anything, just because a lot of the badges are what really, you know, make you stronger and whatnot. And, like, you can even just get, like, certain badges that'll also increase your HP and FP anyway. So, overall, BP is just kind of, like, the more useful of all stats here. Um, you know, it occurs to me. Uh, let me, let me, let me look at some stuff. Okay, um, I may have to go back. <laughs> because I may have... Okay. <laughs> you want a POW block for this. Because, uh, these guys are kind of like the guys we fought before, except, uh, I don't know, arguably worse. <laughs> I mean, they're covered in spikes, what do you expect? So these guys, I believe, um, not only do they have, like, a lot of defense, but even if you try to use your hammer, they're gonna counterattack you, so you won't be able to actually hit them with it. And obviously you can't jump on them. Uh, so right now, our only means of attack, literally, is another item. That's more or less what this area is, is it's like an item tutorial kind of thing. You only have 2 HP, thankfully, so I mean, it's just... But, you know, it's fair warning, those guys, uh, they, they can be a problem, Vil. You can also use fire flowers to attack, except I think those guys are immune to fire. I don't quite remember, and since I'm not tattling enemies, it's gonna be, like, impossible to find out without looking it up, so... <laughs> I will probably just put it in a, in a little video thingy, I don't know. This is a healing block. You can use it to heal your HP and FP. Uh, except it costs a number of coins above it. So, you gotta pay money to heal yourself. And, um... In here... Uh-oh. You know it's trouble when there's a save block approaching. Which means I'm probably gonna end the episode here. What lies further in this fortress? I don't know! I'm just going to circle around Goombella until we find out. Maybe she'll tell me then if I annoy her enough. Anyway, see you later. Goodbye!